how I got into programming is a bit of an odd story and I think it's quite different from how most people get into programming because I went from studying exercise science to computer science. How I got into it was I've always been interested in the gym and mostly building muscle and uh, really anything related to human, the human body and performance. And so that is what led me to getting my bachelor's degree in exercise science. During the last year of my degree, I started looking into whether there are any good workout tracking apps out. And as it turned out, no. I found that there were a lot of workout tracking apps out there, but there were, in my opinion, at least no great workout tracking apps. They were all really cluttered with stuff I didn't want. And especially they were missing features that I knew were really important. So a bit annoyed that this didn't exist, I kind of thought, well, maybe I should make one. I mean, how hard could it be? Keep in mind that at this time, I didn't really know what programming was. And I'm not really a big gamer, as in I play games maybe once or three times per year. And I also don't really consider myself very good with computers. And at this time, I thought that programming was something that you had to learn from when you were like three. In spite of this, I still, for some unknown reason, thought that it wouldn't be that hard. So I got set up for some iOS development and then I just watched YouTube videos on how to build things. I mean, how hard could it be? Turns out after about two hours of watching videos that it seemed extremely hard and a bit out of reach. So I quit. Then after about two months or so, I still had the thought nagging me about how great it would be if I had this app that I was dreaming about. So I got back into it for another month or two and I actually managed to publish an app to the app store called Compounded. And it was completely unrelated to the workout tracking app, but it helped me learn some of the basics of how to build the app that I wanted to build. However, after having published it and realizing that I'd spent way too much time building this really, really simple app, and while simultaneously being in the last six months of my bachelor's degree and also working part-time, I just slowly stopped. But I knew at this stage that this was something that I wanted to do. And I've always loved creative things and building stuff. Building software was something that I knew I could just spend hours and hours doing. So I finished my bachelor's degree in exercise science and then I had signed up for another bachelor's degree, this time in software engineering. And during the summer before school started, I looked into what the course literature was going to be. And uh, they recommended the book Java Head First. So I bought the book about a month before school started. It's a big book. It's about 600 pages or so. But it's extremely well structured and easy to read. Okay, so really the three months started from when I got the book because I really didn't learn much before then. I was very unstructured and just all over the place with how I was trying to learn it. So really, even though one could argue that I must have learned something during this time, I would argue that anyone can replicate the three months that I'm about to explain to you and get a job with relative ease. All right, so I got the book and I figured out that if I read 20 pages per day, I would be finished with the book by the time school started. Now, 20 pages per day may seem like a big task, but here's what that meant. It meant about one hours of reading every day and at most two hours, and I'm not a fast reader. I finished that book and started applying to jobs based on the premise that I had read the book and that I was about to start my software engineering program. And I actually got a few responses, but no job. During the next two months when school started, because I had already read the book, I didn't really need to spend much time on school. So I spent most of my time building my app. Then during the second month of trying to get a job, I finished my app and it's called Exerlog. And it's still just an absolute basic beta version of what my vision is for it. But I built it in Android Studio and using Java and I got it published to the Google Play Store. Right after having done this, I started applying again for jobs. And this time I got a few interviews, but no job. So I decided to start building the iPhone version of my app in order to increase my knowledge base and build my resume. Within the next 
three or four weeks, I managed to publish the iOS version of my app, Exolog, and I published it to the App Store. And once I'd done this, I started calling some of the companies that I'd gotten calls from and interviews from from my previous job application. And most of them weren't interested in me still, but one startup was, and I came in for an interview and ended up getting offered a job as a front-end web developer, which is an area that I didn't have any previous experience in. So that is how I went from zero programming experience to working at, as a front-end web developer at a startup. I hope you got something out of this video, and if there's anything that you would like for me to make a video on in the future, then just leave a comment and maybe I will. Uh, that's it.